mm by 50 mm each are connected to form a t section okay of uh, b if your movement is 75 kN per meter 75 kN per meter applied around the horizontal axis neutral axis introducing tension below the neutral axis find the bending stresses at the extreme fiber of the cross section okay so first of all draw the cross section of this beam okay. cross section of this beam so this one it is plane it is given then wave it is it is connected for plane and wave so dimension it is 150 by 150 150 by 50 mm 150 by 50 mm and wave it is 50 and height it will be 150 mm 150 mm okay 150 mm so this dimension it will be which is 150 by 50 mm and plane width it is 150 mm height it is 50 mm okay so first of all write down the given data so moment is given m is equal to it is 6.4 kilo newton meter 6.4 kilo newton meter okay Plus one y one, a one, y one plus a two y two, a two y plus a two divided by a one plus a two, a one plus a two, a two is equal to a one. It will be how much a one? So this section. It will be divided into parts. So wave it is first part, and flange it will be second part. Flange it will be second part. Okay. The flange section area of this wave it is 150. Width it is 50 into 150 mm. 150 mm. Okay. Then y1, y1 it will be measured from the below axis. That is x axis. This one it is x axis. 150 divided by 2, it will be 75 mm. So the A2 it is 150 into 150 into 50 into Y2. Y2 it is 150 plus 50 by 2. So it will be 175 m. 175 m divided by divided by divided by A1 plus A2. That is 50 into 150. 50 into 150. Then plus 150 into 50. Will we get yb yb is equal to so cg from the bottom okay that will be 50 into 150 into 75 75 plus 150 into 50 into 175 divided by 50 into 150 plus 150 into 50 so it will be 125 mm, 125 m. Okay, so yt. So now this one it is yb. So yt it will be overall depth it is 200 mm. 200 minus it will be 125. So it will be yt. It will be at yt. 200 minus 125. So it will be 75 mm. 75 mm. Okay. So draw the. So the this one it is neutral axis. Neutral axis. Then top dimension it is from the top top fiber to neutral axis. This distance it will be 75 mm, 75 mm, and bottom axis to the neutral axis it will be bottom fiber to the neutral axis it will be 125 mm, 125 mm.
moment of inertia. Okay. So I x is equal to I x is equal to first of all where it is b into b d cube divided by l. So b it is fifty into one fifty cube. One fifty cube divided by twelve. One fifty cube divided by twelve. Divided by twelve. Divided by twelve. A one it will be fifty into one fifty. One fifty. So h one square. That is y bar square. Okay. So first of all. I access is equal to summation of i g plus a h square summation of i g plus a h square a h square. So this one it is parallel axis theorem. Okay, so we need to apply the parallel axis theorem here. Okay. A h square. So now I access is equal to apply the parallel axis theorem. I access is equal to first first wave. Fifty into one fifty, one fifty cube, one fifty cube divided by twelve, BD cube divided by twelve, one fifty into fifty cube divided by twelve, divided by twelve, divided by twelve, twelve plus plus fifty into fifty into one fifty, one fifty into y bar minus y one square. So y bar it is. One twenty-five, one twenty-five minus y one. It will be seventy-five, seventy-five square, seventy-five square bracket square. Okay, so this one it is for moment of inertia for wave. Now for flange plus b d cube by where b it is one fifty into fifty cube, one fifty into fifty cube divided by twelve, one fifty into fifty cube divided by twelve. Divided by twelve. Divided by twelve. Then plus, I will write down here plus. Area it will be one fifty, one fifty into fifty. So H two it is y bar minus y two square. So one twenty five minus y two it will be one fifty plus fifty by two. So it will be one seventy five square. One seventy five square. One seventy five square. Okay. One seventy. It will get I x x from this. Okay, I x x is equal to can write it down. I x x is equal to moment of inertia x x. First fifty into one fifty, fifty into one fifty cap three divided by twelve. Fifty into one fifty cap three divided by twelve. B fifty. One fifty into one fifty into one fifty into fifty divided by twelve. Okay. The first value till we get fifty into one fifty cap three divided by twelve. Then. One fifty into fifty cap three divided by twelve. Okay. So fifty into one fifty cap three divided by twelve. So this one it is fourteen point zero six two fourteen point zero six two into ten raised to the power six. Then plus plus. So first of all, fifty into one fifty into one twenty five minus seventy five will be. Fifty square. So it will be eighteen point seven five into ten to the power six. Eighteen point seven five into ten to the power six. Then plus. Then plus. One fifty into one fifty into fifty cap three divided by twelve. So it will be one point five six two. One point. One point five six two. Into ten raised to the power six, then plus, then plus. It 
So next it will be 150 into 50 into 125 minus 175 it will be minus 50 square. Minus 50 square it will get plus. So this one it is also 18.75 into 10 to the power 6. 18.75 into 10 raised to the power 6. Okay. Total moment of inertia it will be get Ixx is equal to Ixx is equal to 14.062 plus 18.75 plus 1.56 plus 18.75. That will be get 53.124. 53.124 into 10 raised to the power 6 mm raised to 4. mm raised to 4. mm raised to 4. So this one it is moment of energy. I accept. So now I wrote down bending stress, bending stress at top fiber, at top fiber, at top fiber, okay? So sigma B, sigma B, sigma B1 is equal to, so equation it will be M by I, M by I, M by I, M by I, into yt for top it will be yt it will be take top top fiber okay so at top it will be compression okay so m it will be 6.4 kilo newton meter 6.4 kilo newton meter convert it is in newton mm divided by divided by divided by i it will be moment of inertia it will be 56 53 point 53 point one Two four into ten to the power six into into y t will be seventy five y t will be seventy five so it will be get top stresses okay so six point four divided by fifty three point one two four into seventy five okay it will be get nine point zero three five nine point zero three five mp mp okay. So 10 raised to 6, 10 raised to 6, it will be get cancelled. So 6.4 divided by 53.124 into 75. So it will be 9.034 MPa. Okay. So same find out for bottom fiber. Okay. So bending stress at bottom fiber. Bending stress at bottom fiber. At bottom fiber. Bottom fiber. Bottom fiber. So you can calculate it will be sigma B2 is equal to. So this one it is in compression. Okay. At top it will be in compression. At top it will be in compression. Okay. Because of sagging bending moment. Okay. So M by I. M by I. M by I. M by I into into YB into y y bottom okay so y b it will be called y bottom so m it is 6.4 6.4 into 10 raised to the power 6 divided by divided by divided by i x x it is 53.53.124 .53 into 10 raised to the power 6 into y b it will be 125, 125. Okay. So sigma B2 it will be get sigma B2 is equal to sigma B2 is equal to 6.4 divided by 53.124 into 125. So it will be get 15.05. 15.05 MP. Yeah. So this one it is in tension. Tension. Okay. Tension. You draw the bending stress diagram here. You can draw the bending stress diagram. Okay. Bending stress diagram. So this one it is top fiber, it will be at top how much? This one it is top fiber 5.035. And bottom fiber, it is 15.3. Okay. 
at neutral axis neither tension neither compression at the top it will be compression it will be minus at the bottom it will be sorry for tension it will be take positive and for compression it will be for tension it will be take negative okay so at the bottom it will be tension at the top it will be compression okay so this Nine point zero three five. If I, and at bottom it will be how much? At bottom it will be fifteen point zero five. Fifteen point zero five MP. Okay. So these are the stress diagram. Okay. These are the stress diagram. Okay. These are the stress diagram. Okay. So this one it is bending stress at. Bottom fiber and bending stress at top fiber. 